Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be showing you guys my nail polish collection, but I'm also going to be introducing my 2017 project polish. This is going to be very different than the project polish I did in 2015. I just don't have a better name for it right now, so that's just what I'm going to call it. I was inspired to do this project by Maggie from Curious Sparkles, who I will link down below. I believe she's doing the same kind of thing this year. So last January, I believe, she did a video about how she kind of deals with her nail polish collection. And what she does is she makes a list of every nail polish she has and she marks it off whenever she uses it throughout the year and she just tries to use as many as she can all of them if possible throughout the year and then she's able to like evaluate if, they're, if they've gone bad or if she likes them because um, there's a lot of nail polishes I think she said this in her more recent video too that look really really pretty in the bottle but then when you put them on your hands they just it doesn't work for your skin tone it just doesn't look as good so I thought that was a great idea because in the past when I was trying to use up nail polishes, it was just really hard. You have to use a bottle of nail polish so many times to finish it off and it really limits how many... I really don't like using the same polish over and over and over and over. I get really bored and it was really hard for me to do that. So I thought it would be a good idea to... Um, help me weed out through my polishes and see if there's any I can let go of. I was really inspired to do a nail polish declutter a couple months ago and before I started filming I kind of pulled out all my nail polishes to look at them and see if you know I had enough that I would want to get rid of and I really was having trouble and I figured I wouldn't even do one because it felt like I was not going to be getting rid of that many. So. I think if I force myself to use more of my polishes instead of just sticking to my favorites, um, I can see if I really want to hold on to those other ones that I don't normally gravitate towards or only use a couple times a year and see if they're still good, if they look good on my hands, etc. I have had a couple polishes go bad on me this year. I think I found two that were just really disgusting this year. So I want to start using all my polishes, make sure I'm getting some use out of all of them and ha not have them just sit there and get all stringy. So I do have an acrylic nail polish kind of holder and I would love it if all my nail polishes would fit into it but right now they won't. So that was kind of my goal when I was going to do the, the declutter and I just couldn't make that happen. So I have that um, kind of on my windowsill in front of my desk and then I have a little box in my uh, Alex uh, 5 drawers. So the bottom drawer I have all nail uh, products. So um, I just did an inventory, I made a spreadsheet of all my nail polishes, so I have 67 and that includes base coats and top coats which don't really count for this project because I'll definitely be using those. And then 6 of those are backups. So I know that's a little crazy and I've kind of learned from my mistakes that it takes so long to use up a bottle of nail polish, I really don't need any backups, but I am actually really glad I have the backups that I have. And I just bought another backup from Formula X because I found out they're discontinuing Formula X and my favorite nail polish of all time is from Formula X and I'm actually tempted to go get a second backup. Right now they're all on sale for $5 and I'm kind of like really wanting to get a third one um, but I know that's crazy because the first one I have is still pretty full to be, to be honest. So we'll see. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show you guys all my nail polishes so you can just see what I have to start with and then I think it'll be really fun at the end of the year um, to see what I end up with. But how I'm going to do this project is I'm going to try to update you guys every month and I'm going to try to use as many of my polishes as I can um, instead of getting stuck in little ruts and kind of just see if I want to keep them or not and so every month I will do an update probably towards the middle of the month and let you guys know what I have tried since the last update, what my thoughts are on them, and what polishes I'm decluttering if any. So that's how it's going to go normally but this is the first video so it's going to be a little different and I'm just going to give you guys an overview of my entire nail polish collection right now. Okay, so this is the acrylic nail polish holder that I have. There are four shelves, so you can see the top two right now. So I have two base coats right now. I have the Orly Bonder and the Essie All-in-One Base Coat. I also use Nail Envy as a base coat or on its own. Then there's the Nails Matte, um, Nails Ink Matte ba or Top Coat, which I don't use very often. And I also have this one sitting to the side. I need to kind of... Um, I think I might get rid of this one actually because I haven't been liking it, but this is the 
Let's see, this is the Essie Gel Setter top coat. It just has gotten really gloopy, even though it's not more than halfway full. So it's been driving me a little bonkers. So I'm going to try putting nail polish thinner in it, but it feels too early for that. But anyway, that's beside the point. So I have that one um, that goes around with that. Then there's a Sesh Feet Deluxe Size. Then there's a little deluxe size of an OPI lay down that base which goes with the um, one right next to it right here which is a chrome kind of shade from OPI called push and shove then there's my voice is a little Norse the glitter um, next to that and then unfrost my heart where's my finger unfrost my heart and love angel music baby then in the second row I have Let's see, I have, uh, well, there's Pacific Haze, Nude For You, um, Hypnotize, Taken By Storm, Genius, Chaotic, um, Dark Matter, and this is Shake Your Money Maker, and Superstar, Spun Sugar from Revlon, so there's Christmas Gone Plaid from OPI, uh, I sing in color, I think. Yeah. I sing in color. Love is hot and coal. Uh, sleigh parking only. Yeah. Then, four in the morning. First class desires. Skull and gloss bones. What is this one? This one is. Berlin there, done that. After school boy blazer. Then we have Monet, Pyro Clutch, Blanc. My. Dog Sled is a Hybrid, Pacific Blue, Bang from Urban Decay, uh, Chameleon from Sinful Colors. This one, I don't know the name of it. I got it in a... Oh, what's that box? Um, I got it in a subscription box, like oh, my first subscription printed box ever. That one came in the first box I ever got. Then Santorini from Julie G and Fashion Above from OPI. So then I have these ones that I had up on the windowsill next to that acrylic organizer. I have In True Stefani Fashion from OPI, that's the glitter. Then I have three from KL Polish, Carmelo, Snickerdoodle, and Brick Sidewalk. And I have Tornado from Formula X, which is kind of a green. I'm not sure if it's coming across. Black Shatter from OPI. Then I have a Nail Envy that has a tint to it. It's uh, Samoan Sands. I have this Fiber Optic Glitter from Nails Inc. And then Ruffian Red. I have Really Real from Clinique, which um, has some clear nail polish on it. I had one leak when I was traveling, and it's kind of dried all over the bottle. I might just get rid of that bottle, to be honest. I have a um, Rouge Loves... Formula X or something like that. Uh, then I have three glitters from OPI from the Gwen Stefani collection, Comet in the Sky, Snow Globe Trotter, and So Elegant. So then I have Bordeaux from Ravlon, Just Be Claws from OPI, I have this Sesh Feet one, I'm not sure the name of that. I have the Jelly Polish from Julep in the shade Ming, then the green shade is the name Laura, Clinique Hot Date, and Ravlon Winter Mint. And these are all my backups. I also have a backup of Formula X Genius, but these are Love and Cole, Nude for You, Christmas Gone Plaid, Taken by Storm, and Love Angel Music Baby. So I have six backups in total. So that is it. That's my entire nail polish collection. I enjoy it. Hope you enjoyed seeing it, and I'm really excited to see how this hopefully shrinks over the course of 2017. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back in about a month with my Project Polish update. Bye!